Hey everybody, it's Jamie from No Getting Off This Train, and in today's video, I'm going to show you one of my tricks for adding extra vegetables to my meals. Whenever I ask people what their biggest struggle is when it comes to eating healthier, they tell me, a lot of them tell me, that their struggle is eating more vegetables. And there's many reasons why. There could be, maybe they're a selective eater, or maybe their kids are. I hate to use the word picky eater, a selective eater. Maybe they only like a couple certain amount of vegetables. Perhaps maybe you just need more ideas on which vegetables to use, or maybe even you just don't know how to prepare certain vegetables. This trick that I'm using today is one that I've been doing for a few years now after I've had Allison. It works for most kids. It'll even work for you if you are one of those like selective eaters who doesn't like maybe the taste or the texture of certain vegetables. And that major tip is pureeing those vegetables to add into your food. And you can do that in soups, like sauces, even pancakes. I'll leave a recipe or the link down below to my pancakes, my carrot pancake recipe that Allison loves and she knows there's carrots in it, but does not complain. But the great thing about adding pureed vegetables to your food, first of all, you're getting more nutrition in there. Secondly, you're adding like more food to it. So you can fill your plate higher, uh, fill your bowl a little bit more, that way you can get more food and feel full. Now, why do I keep talking about vegetables? Like why, you need to add more, you need to add more. Why is it so important? So vegetables have tons of nutrients in them, vitamins and minerals to keep you healthy, to help build your immune system, which who doesn't need that these days? And they are also full of fiber. And fiber is super important in helping you to stay full throughout the day, as well as keeping you regular. So for this meal, I'm gonna show you how I added some pureed vegetables to some spaghetti sauce. Now you can customize this in any way you want, like I'm gonna say here in a minute. You can add the zucchini and carrots like I did, or you can add any of your own favorite vegetables. So let me show you what I've got going on. The two vegetables that I'm going to add to this spaghetti sauce are a zucchini and some of these carrots. Now the zucchini might give the sauce kind of a greenish color. I don't know though. That might not be enough to color it all green. The carrots, they will blend in nicely. So let me show you how I'm going to mix it all together. Now honestly, you could do this one of two ways. If you want your vegetables to blend in nicely, add it to the blender like this. If you would rather have like little chunks of vegetables, then run it through a food processor. There's an attachment where you can like shred it. Um, so I use that sometimes as well. Or if you have like a grater, a cheese grater, you could add that as well. But I'm only gonna add maybe a couple of handfuls of carrots and the zucchini. Then we'll blend it up and see what it looks like. Well, this was slightly embarrassing. I should have known I needed to do something different with the blender. So I ended up adding maybe a cup of water to this. So that helps, the liquid definitely helps. And you, you also need to cut these vegetables up a little bit smaller. I don't know what I was thinking, but I sliced up the zucchini just a little bit smaller after adding the entire cup of water. It finally worked. There was probably a more efficient way to do this, but hey, I got it done. That is all that matters. All right, so it is mostly blended. I'm, I don't really care about the little chunks, but if you want it to be completely smooth, feel free to keep blending until it is completely smooth. So this is the pasta sauce that I'm using. Typically, I would make my own with crushed tomatoes and all sorts of seasonings, but the Aldi didn't have any crushed tomatoes. So this is what I found. Since I'm adding some extra vegetables to it though, I will probably add some extra seasoning to it. 
Now we'll add this in. So this will add a bunch of food to it, as you can see. So it will either make your sauce servings much bigger, if you're a saucy kind of person like I am, or it'll just get you more servings out of it, which can help to stretch the budget. So now I'll just add some extra basil, oregano, salt and pepper, and we'll mix it together and see what it looks like. All right, let's test this out. It may not be completely red. As you can see, like the carrots kind of overtook the color of the zucchini. So you can't tell <laughs> there's zucchini in it. It's not green. But okay, okay, here we go. So you can see the spaghetti sauce is kind of mixing in now with the carrot blend. It looks a lot thicker. It smells amazing, by the way. So yeah, there's really no green in it except for the seasonings. Now we're just gonna put a lid on it and let it simmer while the pasta cooks. Now what am I gonna use this pasta sauce with? As you can see, I've got some pasta boiling right now on the stove. I also made some bread, there it is. Um, I used my jalapeno cheese bread recipe, but I didn't add any cheese or jalapenos because I wanted to see if Allison would like it. I used some whole wheat flour, just gonna slice it up real quick, and then we're just having pasta sauce, a little bit of Parmesan cheese, and bread. Oh my gosh, this smells amazing. So let's see how much we get with this pasta sauce. So this actually made <laughs> quite a bit of sauce. I only put like maybe a half cup on here and it looks like there might be enough for like one cup of sauce per, uh, per serving. So I'm gonna say that's a lot. So you can keep or make it serve more, maybe a half cup per serving. That could serve like eight or 10 people. So you can actually freeze it for later if you really wanted to. So let's see how this sauce actually tastes. It's actually really good. So you can probably see right here, it's a little liquidous. The vegetables will do that. You can add extra seasoning, salt, pepper, basil, oregano, your favorite um, seasonings for pasta. But this is my one hack to try and get extra nutrition in us. Leave me a comment and tell me what is one way that you add extra vegetables to your diet. And you know, there is no shame in pureeing vegetables to add it to your food. No shame whatsoever. However, you've got to get it in, especially for your kids, you do what you got to do. And the cool thing is you can puree all these vegetables ahead of time and even freeze them. You can put them in like little muffin tins or even ice cube trays and freeze them in little blocks. That way you can just get out what you need and add a little bit to your sauce or your pancakes with no problem. If you have not subscribed to this channel yet, go ahead and do so right now and like this video and ring that bell. That way you'll be notified when more videos like this come out, as well as my other grocery hauls, recipes, and meal planning tips. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you later. Did you know I offer one-on-one -on -one nutrition coaching? Whether your goal is to lose weight, eat healthier, or just want to know how to get started, I can help. You can schedule a free weight loss discovery call by using the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I can't wait to chat with you.